Hello, and welcome to a Fallout 76 camp build episode. Today I'm going to introduce you to my new character named Rose. Aptly named because she has Rose's Syringer. I, at level 11, managed to have a friend help me kind of negotiate the map up to the top of the world so we could specifically get Rose's Syringer and never ever give it back to Rose. Because as you can see from the stats at the bottom, makes the target incredibly powerful for 60 seconds, but incredibly weak for 60 seconds when it wears off. That is the only reason I created Rose. And I've decided to move camp here for her. She's in the ash heap. You may have remembered this episode. Mm, I can't remember. I will leave it in the link below. I'm still in the ash heap. Now, I tried yesterday to leave the camp inside the little bunker. And when I signed in late last evening, I had a problem. It told me that due to a 76 update, my camp could not be placed. Now, I remember that I could get about this far into the building before it told me I couldn't camp any further. So that may have been the problem. So I've placed it outside the building. So because Fallout 76 does not like you, obviously, to camp inside of buildings, especially a completely enclosed building like this. So, Rose is only a level... Let's see where she's at? A level 12. And she doesn't have a whole lot to build with right now. So I had some friends come by yesterday and drop items that I needed for this location. So we have some beds. We have... Fancy chair that I really like is the office chair. It's not there. Uh, some electrical things, a turret. I asked for it. <laughs> ten televisions. So we have all these TVs to put down, workbenches, alt tech chairs not needed, and a fire trap. I've never used one of these, so I thought I'd try one uh, just inside the doorway. Uh, let's see, a radiation emitter, which I never got the plans for. So we'll try some radiation emitters. Uh, the second type of locker. I think I must have missed storing that one. And also learned how to place these conduits through the wall. So let's take a quick look at what the place looks like right now. There's quite a good supply of junk that spawns here. This entire wall board, gas canister, this trash can's going to be just like the trash can from the trailer episode. Crates had items in them yesterday. I think I'm too close to being able to take them again. I dropped down a desk and a chair. I had the television stacked up here, but because these blowtorches spawn there, I'm going to just leave it for something else. An Unstoppables poster. A good supply of junk. One of these had stim packs in it yesterday. Now, I'll show you a little trick that one of the other players showed me. His name is Zulfurex, and what he told me to do was put a chair so I can trip on it. No, actually, let me go here and remove this mat. I'm just going to store it, and I'll show you why that mat was there. For no reason at all. Actually, there was a large tree coming through that stretched into here, honestly. And it looks like it disappeared permanently. Interesting. Well, I guess we don't need that mat anymore, but this type of uh, tree was actually coming through the wall here and interfering with the build process over in the corner. So that is now taken care of. So what you see here now is going to be a conspiracy theorist's hideout. So, oh, we have a few items. I'll show you what we're going to use. This is where all these televisions come in. I'm glad I actually had room to do this. Grab these. Store some of these objects for now. Okay. 
try and keep the base a little bit covert. Build quietly inside. Go the chair. Make sure that I've got all this lined up perfectly. Okay, back to store. Over those televisions. Oh, the other interesting thing we discovered is when you come right up to the TV, you can actually see an outdoor scene in the television. It doesn't reflect what's in the room. It's kind of a, there you can see it a little bit better at this angle. Still have power connector missing. Go here. Drop a wire. It's not going to light. Passing through an object. So let's grab it. Ah, uh, the joys of living. <laughs> that might be the best. There we go. Come on. There. It actually makes a sound. have a little bit of a start in this. Just going back so there we have it. The beginning of my camp for Rose. Tune in at the end and I'll show you the final look. And here we are at the headquarters for the Wasteland News Network, WNN. And we are in this bunker. It looks really cool at night with the light purple and the neon. There are a few people I need to thank for helping me with this build. And that is Zulfarex, Kid Rock, Egan's Rats, and the Lonely Lion. They all contributed all of these interior decorations because my low level character could not. So let's start with the old GNN poster, which is now the WNN poster with a few little uh, small letters attached. So we managed to put some filing cabinets on those two rolling bins, tuck in a tinker's bench. I have room for one of my turrets there right beside the safe. Got the full size stove in. This area will still respawn a ton of supplies. Upgraded to the larger, wider white lockers and left space down there for the gas cans to respawn. And this is where all the news will happen. It's going to be my new introduction for any videos related to Inside the Vault, Bethesda News, um, any, any news related to the game and quests. Um, I know we have an update later today, so I'll be doing a video uh, with the new introduction about what to expect today from the new quest and the turret upgrade. So it really needs the addition of the uh, ability to put down extra decorations. The tool board has not respawned yet. And I'm trying to think what to put on top of the three barrels there. So just enough space to live in. Let's head upstairs for a quick look. I'm putting the rest of the benches, the workbenches, up there. 
It's a little awkward because I have to jump up this way. I left the rooftop just large enough to get underneath. And there's my view of downtown Charleston. It's actually a nice sunny day for being in the ash heap. Have a little interview area, couch, courtesy of the Lonely Lion. And the way down. And there you have it. A quick tour of the WNN studio. Thanks for watching and see you out in the world.